How do we get success momentum and make it look natural and easy and stop having to push so hard to make our biggest goals come true? All right, it's taken me about 20 years of being in the entrepreneurial marketplace, getting kicked left and right, front and back, pulled. I got physical scars on my body, on my mind, and I'm finally coming <laughs> to terms with this message, and I really want you to hear it. What's up, everybody? This is Onyx and all. Welcome to the podcast. Make sure you click subscribe and uh, all that fern jazz. Listen, I've done it all, and this is the first episode where I'm going to openly admit and tell you that I'm actually changing. Well, I'm considering changing the name of the podcast. It's called The Fighting Entrepreneur. And for the longest time, for over 20 years, I've considered myself a fighter. Now I'm still a fighter and I still believe that's a really important trait to have. But lately, I don't know if this is my daughter being born, midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with me, right? But I love it and it feels good. And it's all about questioning whether we have to make everything so difficult. All right, let me explain that. So we come up with a goal. We want to achieve something in our life. The next thing we know is we start pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and planning and strategizing and executing and putting pressure on us, on those around us. And we have all these things we're doing. We got to be doing and we got to be busy and we got to be active and we got to be. I mean, my blood pressure is going up just talking about it with you. So there's something that I started to think about. Not I think it was a podcast. I can't remember exactly which one it was. I believe it was an Ed Milet podcast. There was this conversation of push versus pull. Now, this isn't the first time I've heard it, but I think sometimes we need to hear things and it's all about timing. And for me, it was timing was a big thing. Push versus pull. What is that? Well, what's a push goal? A push goal is a goal you're pushing for. You got to push. You got to move things. There's resistance. You got, uh, uh, right? You're hustling and it's hurting. It's not always bad. It's okay. I go to the gym. If I don't push past my limits, I'm not going to gain any muscles. I'm not going to lose any weight if I just stroll along on the treadmill. But where's the balance? Now, what's a pull goal? A pull goal is like a magnet. What's just coming at you? What's just something that naturally is happening? Something that's coming at you. So I was at the gym and I'm listening to this episode and it stayed with me. I left the gym and came home and I thought about the biggest successes in my life. What have I had the most success with? I started to think about the projects that have had the easiest time promoting, marketing. Can I tell you a realization I came to and it was it was uncanny for me. As an entrepreneur, I've launched many companies. I've had even more products, even more partnerships. And I got to say, every single one of my products that has gone on to become one of my biggest and most successful programs or products, it had organic momentum. What do I mean by that? It was pull. It just started to fall in place. It started to come together. How many massive entrepreneurial success stories do you hear where it was organic? It just happened. It just fell in place. There was a product somebody created. This is the story of the founder of Under Armour. I happen to know the story because the founder of Under Armour went to my university and he used to be a football player. They would get all sweaty and they'd have this wet feeling and he hated it. So he got to a point where he got so tired of it. He actually went to a store that is still there. It's called G Street Fabrics. It's on Rockville Pike. I've been there before. He went there and he sat there and he went over every material until he found one that he was going to stitch a shirt out of, get a tailor to make a shirt because he wanted to solve this problem for himself, not a business. He didn't come in this strategically. He didn't have a big goal of creating a multi-billion dollar public company. He wanted to stop feeling like crap when playing football. So he got something. He got a material. He, he made many and he had one and he wore it and it worked great. He started just telling his teammates about it. And his teammates were like, I want one. I want one. I want one. That's called pull that's coming at him. He wasn't going up to his team members saying, hey, right now I'm going to run a 50% off special. Or he wasn't showing up at their doors at their house. He wasn't sending follow-up emails and calling them. Now I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. But what I'm saying is it's great to add a little push to things that are already pulling. All right. So what in your life has pull? What in your life is natural? What do people call you to ask you for advice on? I'll give you an example right now. At this moment, I can't share too much in detail and I will in the future, but at this moment, I'm working on two projects. One of those projects, if I'm going to be honest, has been push. It's been a struggle. It's been the type of project that when I wake up in the morning, although I'm excited about where it could go, I am not at all excited about the process. It's painful. It's hurtful. It's it's taking every muscle I've got. Mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. It's just not fun. Then there's another project going on in our life where I'm going to tell you it is like 3% of the effort of the other one. And it's gotten so much momentum that we have gotten so many 
many people running towards it that we've had to say, stop, stop. We're no, we can't take, we cannot take this much business yet. I'm putting 90% of my energy and effort into the push because I'm obsessed. Well, cause I gotta push, I gotta make it happen. But wait a minute, here's something that has so much natural momentum in my life. Why am I not applying the push onto that side? Imagine what happens if I start to push something that's already moving, that's already got momentum. It'll just go that much faster and it'll be that much easier and it will be that much more fulfilling. And most importantly, it'll be that much more fun. So here's the deal. I'm not saying you don't push for your goals. I'm not saying you don't plan and I'm not saying you don't strategize and I'm not saying that you don't work hard. I'm saying you first take a step back and find the thing that is pulling already, the thing that has natural momentum, the thing that you're not only enjoy doing, but are very good at doing and that other people naturally come to you for. And you add the push, you add the hard work and you add all of that to that thing. So in your life, if we're talking entrepreneurship, we're talking business, what are you naturally good at? What are you able to help people get results with? What is it that people already come to you for, call you for? What is it that you know that most others don't? What is it that you can say to someone or offer someone that's just an easy yes? Don't tell me there isn't something. It's there. But the problem is you might be spending too much time focused on the thing you have to push for that you're not seeing the pull. In my life right now, it's very abundantly clear. What happens is I find that the things that are creating a push for us, they are the things that we're struggling with the most, we're not achieving. And some of us type A entrepreneur types, we get obsessed with them because we can't, we cannot accept defeat. We cannot take the, we can't even fathom the idea that we're not able to own it. When this entire time, the thing that's easy, that could become 10 times bigger than the thing you're pushing for is sitting right here going, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to go. I'm fun, I got momentum, I'm good. I could be bigger than what you're pushing for, but because it's easy, the chase isn't there. We're saying, hey, you shut up. I'm gonna go push this thing, I'm gonna fight hard. So I've had a moment with myself over the last couple of weeks, and I'm gonna invite you to join me in this moment. Have one of your own, where I basically looked at a bunch of things going on in my life, and I said, where's push? Where's pull. And I'm telling you right now, I removed all the push. There's one thing left right now. There's one final push being made to it. Ironically, the push that we're making would determine if it has any pull. If it's got no pull, I'm going to exit that project. As much as it's going to stink, I'm going to stick the white flag up. You know why? I'm not quitting. I'm recommitting. I'm recommitting to a project going to make me happier. That's going to be bigger. That's going to be easier, just more profitable. Now, personally speaking in my life, it's a very simple thing. Okay. I would go to the gym and there was this one particular extra exercise that I would do that I feel like I have to do. And I would dread doing that exercise starting hours before going to the gym. It's making me not even want to go to the gym. It's push, too much push. You know what I did? I found an alternate exercise that gets me the same results that I actually really enjoy doing, replaced it. Simple things like this can make a big difference in your life. What are you doing right now, personally, professionally, that just has got all kinds of problems. It's got all kinds of things in your way. And can you replace it with something? Can you just say, hey, I'm not good at this. This isn't for me? And can you acknowledge that there's something equally, if not even much better waiting for you that your ego just hasn't let you look at because it's not as hard or it's not the one thing that you're struggling at? Can you embrace it, accept it, propel it, push towards that and see how much better your life gets? I'm telling you all the way from health choices, diet choices, supplemental choices, professional choices, career choices, entrepreneurial choices, relationship choices. There are people we are investing in that are just push. Stop. You know that person that you love being around, those people that are just absolutely great that you just gravitate towards that are just great to you push there give them your best let go of the other ones push versus pull do a complete analysis of your life right now wherever there's push can you replace pull and if you can do it and i promise you right now you're gonna be happier less stressed and more successful it's what i'm doing i want to invite you to do it leave me a comment below let me know what you're thinking let me know if there's a big aha that you've had of course check us out at onicpodcast.com all the urls are right below here if you're watching us on youtube and if you're listening to us on a platform please make sure you subscribe and leave us a great review. This is Onik reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onik Singhal.